Calypso icon Linda MacArthur Lewis, better known as Calypso Rose, will be honored by the government of Trinidad and Tobago following decades of her contribution to the Calypso art form in this country. Rose recently won the Victoire de la Musique World Album of the Year Award in France. The announcement was made on Thursday by the Minister of Culture and Community Development, Nyan Gasby Dolly. Good news for Calypso Rose as the Cabinet of Trinidad and Tobago has taken a decision to honor the musical icon. To honor and give recognition to the achievements of Calypso Rose, who um, just recently won the equivalent of a Grammy in France. And the Cabinet has made a decision that Calypso Rose will receive a diplomatic passport, as well as, with her permission, an aircraft of our Caribbean Airlines fleet will be named after her and in recognition of her stellar and most formidable achievements. Singing since the 1950s, in 1966 Rose wrote the song Fire In Me Wire, the first Calypso ever song two years running at the Trinidad Carnival in 1966 and 1967. Calypso Rose continued singing more Calypsos over the decades, many of which are internationally recognized, such as Abertina, Temple, Rum and Coca-Cola, at Burning Burning and the most recent hit in her album, Far From Home, Leave Me Alone, a collaboration with Marshall Montana.